This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bag. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. This is the Noon Barbados Today update for Monday, March 3rd, 2014. I'm Dawn Paris. More workers at the Transport Board are today joining the red line after the retrenchment process at that state agency began on Friday. But the Barbados Workers' Union is not happy that employees are leaving without enhanced separation packages. Despite being unable to reach agreement with the union over the financial terms of separation, the board last Friday began sending workers home. That process continued this morning. The BWU had been pushing for enhanced packages for employees, but the board said in an ad published in today's press, that it could not afford to pay anything more than what is required under the Severance Payment Act and it was forced to begin the layoff process even though it was unable to reach agreement with the BWU. After an emergency meeting of the BWU's Executive Council yesterday, the union is now waiting to see if Prime Minister Fundo Stewart will step in to have the two sides sit again to discuss the enhanced packages. Government is considering identifying an insurance company to function as a health insurance broker for Barbadians. Minister of Health John Boyce says going that route would help reduce overall health care costs without affecting the level of medical care granted to Barbadians. But he says at this stage, his ministry is uncertain whether the insurance company would fall into private hands or be an agency of government. So third parties may either be state or commercial entity using an insurance company or a non-profit organization. In Barbados, the government, through the taxation system, performs both roles, that is a broker and a provider of healthcare services, through the network of our polyclinics and the free physical hospitals. We are presently very involved in working on this model to reduce the overall cost of healthcare while ensuring that the quality of care is not compromised. The international business minister is expressing serious concern that Barbadians who also have U.S. citizenship will be brought under the microscope as a result of a Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act. FATCA, as it's called, requires authorities in Barbados to provide information on the foreign accounts of American citizens. But Minister Donville Innes says while this may not affect the majority of Barbadians, those who have dual citizenship may be under scrutiny. They may be saving for retirement or they may have uh, had a property that the old man already died and left and they sold it and they convert the cash and kept in the bank account here. And the fact remains is that they are also Americans and they will be subject to such wants if a sold is met and it triggers a review by the bank that they need him with for the insurance company. Uh, that, that would be my, my main concern uh, at this point in time. Innes was speaking after a seminar on the Tax Compliance Act at the Hilton Barbados this morning. Barbados is looking to have the agreement on FATCA enforced by July 1st this year. Opposition leader Mia Motley and Government Member of Parliament James Paul say they are heartened by the number of young people involved in agriculture, but they want more assistance given to those without land so they can get their own plots. Speaking after she toured AgriFest over the weekend, Motley called for a new injection of money into the Agriculture Development Fund to assist young producers. I think this country has to make a greater effort in stabilizing agriculture and to recognize that there are two structural things that only government can help bridge the gap. A lot of the people, and Nick James can confirm this, who want naturally to go in or who may have the passion may not have the money and that's one of the reasons that we would like to see a recapitalization of the Agricultural Development Fund to be able to allow people to expand and move to the next level or for more people to come in. I also feel that we may have a little too much bureaucracy. The Agriculture Development Fund was set up by an Act of Parliament in 2001 to help expand agriculture in Barbados through financial support by government.
The Sandy Lane Gold Cup will go ahead as planned this weekend. That assurance from Public Relations Manager at Sandy Lane, April Thomas, after reports that the prestigious race had been postponed. Thomas says she's unsure where and why the rumour started, and as far as she was aware, all was ready for Saturday's event. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Regional governments are being urged to consider alternative sources of energy in an effort to provide for future energy demands as civil unrest continues to plague Venezuela. The call from St. Lucia's opposition leader, Gail Rigobert. She says there must be a long-term goal to address the Caribbean's reliance on fossil fuels. At least 11 people have been killed in an attack at a court in the Pakistani capital, Islamabad. Gunmen burst into the court complex and opened fire before at least two suicide bombers detonated explosives. A judge and several lawyers are reported to be among those killed and at least 24 people were wounded. The Walt Disney Company will cut funding to the Boy Scouts of America from next year because of a policy that bans gay leaders in the organization. The Boy Scouts organization says it's disappointed by the decision which will affect the organization's ability to serve children. And that's been the noon update. Join us again at 6 this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper and like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Don Paris. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power.